I have friends and family. I'm gonna do a quick little upload of the Mr. Freddy Krueger. I figured it'd be fun to watch him, um, get a feel for what he has. So first and foremost, really quick, just go over his perk. So his first perk is Blood Warden. Uh, once per match, once at least one exit gate is open, hooking a survivor summons the entity to block the exit. So <coughs> I would test this one out. I don't know if you, when they open the exit gates, um, if you hook somebody, then these just automatically pop up, or if an exit gate has to be open and you hook him, I am not really sure. So, um, either way though, uh, pretty, like, really cool perk. I think this is probably his best one by far, at least to me it is. Um, and then his next perk is Fire Up. It's a rare perk. This one's probably my least favorite out of the three. So basically you get a token for every time they fix a generator. So one generator gets fixed, nothing happens. Two generators get fixed, you get 10% bonus. Three generators get fixed, 12%. And four, it's just 14%. So action speed is literally doing anything except for hitting. Um, or being stunned. So, if you're stunned, flashlight, uh, if you're hitting someone, those are not any actions. The rest of them you can read kind of there at the bottom. You know, picking somebody up, dropping somebody, breaking pallets, uh, generators, and bolts. So, fire up might be something you take up with, like, brutal strength or something. I'm not sure. I'll be able to run around. Not positive. Remember me? On this one and this one are contested for my favorite. So, remember me, what happens when there's a, the obsession? Um, whenever you hit the obsession, you stack up a timer. Um, if you kill the obsession, this doesn't go away. I tested this in my last game. And then, um, what ends up happening is that you can get up to 20 additional seconds. I think level 3 gives you up to 30 additional seconds. So, I'm not positive which one of those changes, whether it's the 5 seconds or the 20 additional. I've got to level it up somewhere. And obviously, I have barbecue and chili just because it's OP OP. So, hopefully, um,. We'll get a game here really quick, so I don't just waste time. But, uh, trying to lose blood web. So, the way that I played Freddy this last game, so what's really cool, is you end up in a world that's completely, like, every map has been redesigned for just Freddy's vision. It's insane. And I'm curious what the survivors will see if they go into the dream world as well, because if that's the case, holy cow. It is a massive visual update. So, um, any level that you go into, you're going to end up being pulled into the dream world. Freddy permanently stays in the dream world, which is true to his character. And uh, it's like everything is it's just blue, really, really blue. And you can just see like white wisps going everywhere. It looks very ethereal. Um, anyhow, so what ends up happening is, is that your power is Dream Demon. So you can pull people in the nightmare by clicking um, R2. Not here, it's obviously right mouse trigger, but uh, when you click on it, It'll pull them. You have to be within, I think, 20 yards of the survivor. It doesn't give a yard thing here, but when I was playing against it, you can't just see a survivor and pull them. You've got to be fairly close to them. Uh, within, I think, three lunges, if that makes any sense to you guys. So, I mean, it's not like they have to be incredibly close, but they also can't be far away. But anyway, what will happen is all you have to do is hold up, and you'll you'll hold up your arm, and uh, kind of like how the nurse holds up her arm when she's blinking, and then you'll suck up a face of the survivor. So whoever it is, you'll suck up like a like an outline of their face. And so that'll start making them sleepy. Once they start getting sleepy, there's a transition period where they uh, they jump into the dream world. Once they're in the dream world, you get to kill them. So you can't touch anybody who's awake, much like Freddy Krueger. Um, but once they're asleep, they glow blue. Um, so not only are you they super easy to see. Doesn't matter what uh, outfit they have, they start. They have this like uh, the only way I can describe it is like Tron, like a bunch of blue little beadlets on them, very uh, Tron-like. And um, if they leave your terror radius, you get to see them. <laughs> so, anyone you have asleep, so if you put all four survivors asleep at the same time, um, you actually can see all of them all the time. Imagine barbecue and chili, but all the time, as long as they're outside of your terror radius. Um, the only way they can wake up is if they fail a or if they fail a wake up action. So, um, like if you fail a generator, that wakes you up. Being hooked wakes you up, and then certain healing failures wake you up. It doesn't work every time. The healing one is only every every so often. Um, got four so let's see what happens here anyway um and uh or have an awake survivor wake you up so if you remember Jen, you know how like uh, when you're in insane from the doctor um and you have to do the you know snap out of it you can actually have another survivor heal you and they'll heal your um you'll, they'll heal you awake first before they heal you out of your ailment so those are the only ways that you can get awake so being hooked uh the generator i believe is 100 percent every time if you fail the generator it wakes you up like you know you just spam your skill check and try to get it off. Um, 
But anyway, here you go. So you can kind of see everything's kind of this dark, cloudy. There's a little blue. Things are flying everywhere. So we are permanently in the dream world. Every level is like this. Uh, this is what Freddy sees. So you'll see right here. Like, you'll see the range cursor right there. That's how far you can go with it. Um, you're going to pull him into the dream. So let's go see if we can find our first friend. Now, you will notice it is hard to see in here. Uh, seeing survivors is not as easy. They do. The color does shine out, so that's nice. But, like, if you're looking at them from afar, it is not easy at all. So here we go. You saw that. I just pulled her uh, knee his face. And you'll see her head start to wag as she's falling asleep. And then she goes blue. So there you go. There's that blue outline. Now I can hurt her. And she is stuck in this until she gets a skill check that fails, such as the things that I just got earlier, or someone heals her. So, let's see what happens here. Try and get her. But, um, if you see another survivor, this is what I found already. If you see other survivors, just pull them into the dream immediately. Um, and you'll smack them around. So. Hey, buddy. So, once they're knocked down, you'll see they're still in the sleep stage, right? Because they're stuck in the dream world. And then they will wake up the second I put them on a hook. So you'll see the outline disappear. Hope the barbecue chili finds me something. Sweet. So they're over there. So we know there's two. And there's probably one guy like chilling right here or something. Who cares? So what I'm going to try to do is put both of these guys to sleep. And just chase one of them. So we're going to do like this. Try to pull her out. I don't see the other guy so I'm just going to go for her. She's obviously not very good at this game. So, Dan, you can't see it. We'll have to get two people asleep at the same time. Um, so that you can see the outline. Um, it also gives you deer stalker. I'll, I'll probably get to show you this here. But um, if they're blue like this on the ground and you step out of the terror radius, you can actually see them. No matter how far away you walk. So uh, it's like an inmate deer stalker on the character. So that's a pretty sweet perk. Come along with it. Let's see, we see those two over there. Looking in a chest. Um, I do not know what Freddy Krueger. I haven't played against this. I haven't played against him as a survivor yet. So I'll get terror radiuses and stuff sorted out later on. Okay, so I want you to see this. As soon as she falls asleep, there she is. So I have permanent vision over until she wakes up. So you'll notice. Look, there she is. There she's again. So on and so forth. You know. So notice the, that she can't see her, and she's, she's being healed, so we'll see her disappear in a second. Yeah, so she's gone now. Oh, you see how I tried to strike her while she's awake? Nothing happens. She turns blue! Boom! Fair game. Last game, I killed them too fast, so I didn't actually get to see Blood Warden. So, I don't want to see the Blood Warden. I haven't seen his vault animation either. Seems like it follows the hag. She's See, she's outside of my terror radius. Dude, if that's the case, my terror radius is super small. This is uh, level 2 Michael range, if that's the case. Like, doggone. That is so tiny. I really like to see them finish the gates or finish the things and get all that taken care of because I want to see Blood Warden pop, so I'm not too worried about him. I do need to hit my um, smack around my obsession a few more times though so I can mess with the exit gates. Right, cool, they're down to two generators. So these guys actually know what they're doing, which is good. So that just finished. There's one chilling over here somewhere. They're obviously running to save her. See if we can pull him into the dream. You'll notice that my fired up is now level three. So any actions that I take, I have yellow bar. Get better. One thing to notice is that um, if someone goes to save her and they're not in the dream world, it's a free save. So I can't touch them. Nothing. 
So, like, uh, against Freddy Krueger, if you're not in the dream world, just go for the save because he can't hit you. And he can't hit them because they're in the dream world, too. Or they're awake, I mean. She managed that. Oh, there she is. She must have just been in my terror radius the whole time. Get this game. She must have found a. Either she brought this or that. She found that green one. I don't know. That's a green flashlight. Oh! Ah, oh, you don't get a point for pulling him out of the locker, though. That's unfortunate. I thought this might remember me stated three marks, the one on the bottom. Notice how the Deerstalker's working on her over there. So, like, just so long as they're in the dream world, you can keep track of them outside of your terror radius. Look at, look at that. That is your terror radius. Right there. So that is Michael Myers level two for sure. Definitely someone you're gonna have to keep an eye out for. I'm curious if, uh, you know how they do the Halloween music? They had the sound file for the song. I'm fairly certain the song is his terror, I guess. Fairly certain. I'll do a survivor game. I'll show you guys that one later, though. Okay. Do you other things I don't see here? Whoa, bam! I really actually don't want to hook her because the Emerson guy is gonna die. That guy's finishing the hook, the, the gem there. I think it's the first time I've hooked her, so I think we're safe. <laughs> Dang, you walk really slow if you hold that. That's interesting. I'm curious if I... Okay, so she's not in the dream world? Okay, so I just pull her in automatically. She is in the dream world now. Yeah, you get dream demon for it, so... I really don't want to hook her. So I'm just going to pretend like I can't get her to the hook. Like, walk down like this. Because I really, really, really... Okay, yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. Please, no. Hey, where are the other friends, though? Oh, over here. No? Is that her? I don't know. Oh, there they are. No? Holy cow. You are not good at this game. Kinda hoping, you know, I, I imagine you could use this as a trick, so like, if I don't know where the other survivors are, just chill. As soon as you see her getting healed, you know there's the other one there. That would be an idea. Just draw and just kinda pay attention to her. I'll let her finish up, that's fine. My imagination, if I had to call a strap for this, and what you're what I'm planning on doing, is that uh, if Blood Warden only works after the exit gate's opened, I would have somebody knock down and just kind of watch them. Just keep a tab on them like this, you know, because you'll see their body. And as soon as you know the exit gate's open, then you just bam, smack them, and then you chase the other ones. Because you have a full minute where they can't escape or do anything at all. So that's, a, that's an interesting phenomenon, to say the least. Holy moly, you're taking forever.
I don't think she's dead on hook, is she? She's level two, right? She's only been hooked once. I hooked her at the start. I'm fairly certain that's correct. Sorry, this is really boring, guys. I really just want to see this wall. Like, that's all I want to do. Notice that she hasn't woken up at all, so it's only those failed skill checks. Oh. Oh. Well, that's good. I, know. I really just want to put you guys in dreams. If that's okay. Listen, 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 listen. Talk about this. And there you are. Well, I'm back! you go. Oh. Why are you being bad? It's kind of fun. Scare. So she doesn't go anymore. Really? Can you guys just finish the game, please? Holy cow. Oh, so that woke her up, though. You see that? That failed skill check? Whatever. 100% woke her up. Or put her back to sleep. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So I know where she is. I'm just going to put her in sleep. She's in the dream world now. I need to stay on that chick because this guy dies on hook, and so it completely defeats my purpose. I'm gonna smack her so she's all like scared and stuff. She'll be like, I'm a game! <laughs> Gotta go up in a gate! Much. Not to mention, she opens the gate at normal speed, so we need to watch this chick right here. And she's gonna go for it. Nice! It's going exactly as planned. It's like watch one Mississippi, two Mississippi. It's supposed to be 20 seconds, right? So we're like seven, eight, nine. First light hasn't even lit up yet. Should be halfway done by now. And I have three hits on Remember Me. So. Look at that. Look how long it's taken her. I don't want. No, stay away from me. Stay from me, you vile beast. No. Uh -uh. I don't want you. No. Leave me be. Leave me be. No. <laughs> Go open the gate. I will let you live. Please just go open the gate. Okay. Listen, friend. Here's what we're gonna do. You're obviously dumb. You're moderately handicapped. Okay, yeah, but you're, you're just mad. I wanna put you right over here. I need to get higher ranks so that, like, the most consistent things that happen. Can you just. Can you, can you, yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now that's gonna be opened. I'm watching the symbol on the right as well. Like, do you see the blood warden? How it's still not lit up? I'm curious if it'll tell me when the exit gate's opened. Oh, it does? Okay, so it lights up when the gate's opened. Oh my god, 
gosh, guys, that is beautiful. So you can tell that it's different than the one because it doesn't rise up. So like, you know how it doesn't stay there when the killer's there and then you know, it goes or whatever the sound is. It's attractive, right? Um, so there's that. He can't get out. Go. Go save him. Come on. Come save him. Come on. Come save him. Come save him. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, there you go. Go save him. I want to see if they come down when you pick him off the hook. They do not, so they stay the full minute. Okay, so that was something interesting I wanted to learn too. Is that uh, these stay up for the full minute if uh, they've been unhooked or whatnot. Yeah, you can go. Peace out. Yep, it's a nice point with you. Thank you for the experiment. Alright, yeah, 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 whatever. I can pull her into the dream. I'll do that really fast, get some blood points. So, anyway. Okay, guys, so that's Freddy Krueger in a nutshell. So, uh, you didn't really get to see the fired up thing because I didn't break a lot of. I didn't do a lot of actions that game, but I went to level 4 at the end there, so it be 14%, you know, increased at one generator. Um, the Blood Warden did light up, so uh, one of the things that you can actually use, holy cow, guys, these guys are bad. Uh, one of the things that you can use is, um, Blood Warden lit up when the gate was open, so we know when um, the Blood Warden is active. And even though she was in the dream, um, I just noticed from the, the the text and from the dev stream that anyone who walks past the gate, even if they're not in um, the dream state, show up. So it's very much like a barbecue chili right or the way that it's outside of the survivor um, zone is that. If anyone walks into the gates, like so people try to make a break for it, or more often than not, the reason they actually made this and the reason they said they made this is because people do the troll inside the gate. They're like, Hoo -ha, we're going to stay here until he hits us, much like I do, right? But I mean, I just want him to get extra points. Uh, but if anybody's sitting in the gate and someone gets hooked, that's a full minute. And it obviously taking them off the hook did nothing. So you have a full minute to kill people and they can't escape, which I mean, if you go through a game uh, with, you know, like survive with friends for, or you had a game that was, you know, just used a ton of pallets, that minute you have, you know, free game, basically. You can knock people down and, I mean, you put them in the dream state to kill them. So you can leave them there for deer stalker and just keep running around. So, um, super cool. You saw how long it took her to do the gate. Like, that was insane. And that was only 15 seconds longer. So that means 35 seconds. I have no idea if you can make it longer or if it's just that, you know, every, every time you hit the obsession, it uh, increases the time. I think that it's 20 additional sections is max and that you just get more time per uh, hit on the obsession. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to try and upload this YouTube, see if it works. I just wanted you guys to see it live action and kind of get a feel for what it was and get a, you know, we can learn about it together without it being in like a high stakes game or anything like that. So, anyway, peace be the journey. We'll talk to you later. Bye.